human immune system is the military of the body. It's comprised of white blood cells and antibodies. These seek out and destroy foreign bodies including viruses, bacteria, parasites, fungi and abnormal cells. White blood cells are created in bone marrow and carried in the blood and lymphatic system. A single drop of blood can have 25,000 white blood cells. When white blood cells attack, they envelope the pathogen and destroy it. The remains are carried away into the lymph system. The immune system is able to remember infections and fight them off better through antibodies. Vaccines work by stimulating the immune system to create antibodies for a specific disease, like polio or measles, without actually getting it. The person is then protected against that disease. It's important to get vaccines even if the disease is no longer common because of the herd immunity effect, which is a form of immunity that occurs when the vaccination of a significant portion of a population or herd provides a measure of protection for individuals who have not developed immunity. Stress, smoking, lack of sleep, poor diet and diseases like HIV and AIDS can weaken the immune system, making you vulnerable to infection. Allergies and allergic reactions are a false alarm and the result of an overactive immune system. Allergic reactions can cause anaphylactic shock and swelling where a person can't breathe. Autoimmune diseases like lupus mean that the immune system attacks its own body and not just the germs. Being too clean isn't always a good thing. Without germs to develop antibodies, the immune system doesn't develop or learn what's harmful and what's not. The study of the immune system is called immunology. Thank you.